Hey Boo Buddies, Anya here and it's time for the April bullet journal setup and I hope that the uh, gloomy weather is passing you by now and you're getting some more uh, lovely warm and maybe some sunshine as well and that is the celebration of what I'm doing with my theme this month. I'm just doing out in the garden and you'll notice right away I am not doing a normal setup. I decided that April is weirdly a very busy month but not busy in the office so I decided to give myself a lot of room for each day and not a lot of else. So there's a lot going on every day, but not a lot going on building on the month like normal. So we're just gonna do some weekly spreads and leave the month alone and just put a little month at the top of each week um, because all my habit trackers were set up for the quarter instead of each individual month. There's no reason to put that. So we're just going to uh, enjoy some doodles and give ourselves some room for each day to have its own space but for the most part we're just just gonna doodle and and enjoy the sunshine as it were uh, so first of all I am using some scrap paper that I've had from other uh, setups and I made a little April header to go next to my mini calendar that I'm using for this first week of April and also uh, the week setup is not linear. It's very blocky and all over the place. I've never done this before and it might be a disaster for me because I'm such a uh, organized linear person when it comes to my planner. I like things to always be in the same place so I know where they are at a glance. And this is the complete opposite. The days of the week are gonna be in a different place every week uh, and not in a linear order. They're all scattered about. So I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna work. I might get very mixed up, I might get very confused, uh, but this is probably a good month to try it since I'm not gonna be sitting still very much in the month of April, uh, and hopefully I'll be outside a lot, working in the yard and, and cleaning up the garden, uh, which is what I've got Boo and Cat doing in my doodles, if you will see. Uh, so. Boo has got a little pumpkin uh, seedling ready to go in the garden because I usually only plant the pumpkins in May, but starting the seedlings inside is uh, something I do in April, so they're ready to carve uh, for October. They need lots of time to grow, and also we need extras so that we can have lots of uh, pumpkin uh, food in the house as well. So yeah, so we need to get those seedlings started. Uh, cat is not being helpful. They're uh, they're just licking themselves over in the corner uh, as I finish up figuring out where to put all the days of the week. I'm using my Tombow brush pen markers, which are what I usually use with my bullet journal, and I'm using a lot of the colors that I normally use with my setups. These are a lot of the same colors I I always use, but I'm using them differently than I normally do, like. You know, coloring the background with markers is not a unique idea, but I don't usually do it like this, and it came out really fun. So this is a way more colorful spread uh, and setup than than I normally do with my gloomy, ghosty bullet journal style, and I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it at all. I think that because of the days being scattered about like this and it kind of came out like a like a comic book panel idea with all of the flow and scattered about order in the chaos of storytelling uh, which is you know, just the day of the week uh, and I think it's kind of fun so I tried to make my doodles uh, with Boo and Cat outside kind of tell a story without trying to make a, a plot a device story, but uh, just, just some pretty things that you can make some sense of, which is totally my style when it comes to Boo and Cat hanging out. So 
So this first week is fun and unique, but in order to keep it going for all four weeks of the month of April, I needed to, first of all, keep it interesting, but also not so interesting that it gets confusing. So some things need to be consistent. So I have my mini calendar up here at the top uh, next to a header with the month of April and uh, I highlighted the week that we're in for in the mini, mini calendar so that I don't get too confused but to keep it interesting I did change the language of April uh, for every week so every week is a different it's it still says April but just in a different language so week one was Boo and Kat going out in the garden and getting things um, started and week two is definitely going to be a lot more sun and so we've got Boo shielding their eyes and Kat taking a nap in the corner. Again, not helping at all with the gardening and the yard work. I only used one gray throughout the coloring of these doodles and whatnot and it's the faintest gray. It's my favorite gray that I have in my grayscale Tombow set and I think it's a uh, N95. It's all worn off. I have to look it up and I will link all of the supplies I used in the description of course uh, with all the Tombow number colors that I have, but if you've seen any of my videos, uh, it's the same colors that I always use. So I use the same gray uh, to shade Boo because Boo's outside and I normally use the blue to do blue, Boo shading, but I used that for the sky so I couldn't do it for the shading. Um, it's the same one I'm using to color in the watering can. It's the same one I use for cat. I normally do cat in colored pencil, but I just, just couldn't be bothered and in this time I just went with it and did cat in marker all the way uh, but yeah it's the only gray that gets used uh, in all of this and I have two greens one blue and one brown and that's it that's all uh, and the yellow that I used for highlighting certain things but those are the only colors I used one of the supplies that I used in this setup that I normally don't use uh, is the Futinesca brush pen that uh, is mostly because it's a really nice pen and I usually use it for things other than my journal so I don't really use it and or I just can't find it like sometimes I can't find it in the store sometimes I just can't find it in the mess that I call my desk uh, but I got to use it a lot to do all the outlining of the doodles this month and you can see that really adds to the comic illustration feel and uh, I have a lot of fun with it. One of the things that made this layout uh, so much fun is that uh, I didn't worry so much about making sure every day in all the days of the week were equally spaced and equally um, divided. So some, some of them you'll notice are wider, some of them are longer, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it worked out pretty fun. Uh, but the, the, the overall point is, is that I really wasn't focused on making everything uniform in this layout. Uh, and I did that partly because uh, that would have required way more thought process than I was willing to give this layout. Uh, but the other thing about that is, is also because of the fact that I chose to do this layout. That sounds like I just said a lot of nothing, and I kind of did. But uh, when I chose to do this style of layout, uh, what I did was I chose to let the doodles be the primary focus which I normally don't do with a planner uh, because a planner's function is to be a planner and then the doodles are there to make it fun, to make it interesting. But in this month, uh, the primary focus is the illustrations, is the doodles, uh, and the planner was secondary. So that's also why you see me uh, doing each layout where normally you don't see that. Uh, where normally I, I kind of try and make the video more interesting so that you just see like the highlights of yes I drew this and yes it was fun and yes it went in uh, but with this specific uh, you get to see the whole process because uh, the doodles 
and the illustrations of this of this spread of this layout is uh, is the primary and uh, I had to do them first and I had to plan them first and I had to uh, execute them first and then filling in everything else came secondary and so the support was the days of the week which isn't what I normally do and isn't what I normally recommend with planners but April is going to be a wild month to say the least I don't know what to expect I don't know uh, if it's good or bad I think it's just going to be busy I don't think that's necessarily bad I think it's just gonna be a lot so uh, this was the month to play this was the month to try uh, and I normally am very strict about how I do my planners and how uh, I I do how what I put where uh, and the reason for that is is definitely because uh, I use a planner to be a planner and the fact that it's fun is great but I need it to function first uh, and my this bullet journal is about done uh, whether I not I have pages or not it's about done uh, and uh, it's it's breaking and and falling apart and uh, so now is the time as as the journal comes to the end of its life to start experimenting and playing and being more free with with ideas and with and with layouts and and what I want to do going forward in, in my journaling and my planner journey. Uh, so this was, this was part experiment, this was part joy, this was part fun, this was part just kicking all the rules to the curb and seeing what sticks and seeing what I wanna do and maybe just confirming that the way I've been doing it is the way I wanna continue doing it. So yeah. Okay, it's time for the fourth and final week in the April setup, and I already know that when this week finally comes around, I'm just going to be wiped, I'm going to be exhausted, I'm going to be ready for some chill time, and honestly, watching Boo in the garden for these doodles, <laughs> I know I made them, but they still wore me out just thinking about the hard yard work and digging out in the garden and all that. Uh, so I'm ready for Boo and Cat to uh, just be chillin' and kind of give some some stargazing uh, summer night sky, early uh, late spring, early summer vibes going on. So they'll be over here hanging out together, maybe looking at some fireworks, maybe looking at the stars. We don't know. Uh, they could be looking at any of those things. I heard a rumor that there is one of those holidays uh, like Pancake Day and Watermelon Day uh, called Stationary Day during the last month uh, or the last week of April. So that seems like a fun thing that we should be uh, focusing on during this week and maybe uh, I should do something fun over on my Instagram channel or here on YouTube for everyone. Uh, but. Uh, for me, it's a busy week because uh, my new picture book, Beach Day, launches on the 25th of April over on Amazon, uh, and you should definitely go check that out. It is linked below along with all of the supplies used in this setup. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a busy and stressful week for me, and probably the busiest week that I've had so far in 2023. Uh, but it's really exciting, and, uh, and I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm just so excited, and uh, but I need those chill vibes because I also know I'm going to, I'm going to be stressed and busy the whole time. Okay, that is my April setup, and now there's only one thing left to do, which is go back and look at how fun everything turned out. I have no idea if this spread layout style is gonna work for me, but I really like it, and I had a lot of fun. I hope you all found some inspiration. Don't forget to check out my new picture book over on Amazon, and I will see you in the next one, Boo Buddies.